The following video is rated FMRE for scenes depicting fantastic motorcycling resulting in great rider enjoyment. Viewer discretion is advised. Into the wild blue yonder. I am blessed by the gods. The hotel wants me out of my room. yee -haw! Well, they're on my shit list. Major deer crossing. Five stars. Would ride again. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So we're on the road, had breakfast, stalled until uh, it got above 45 degrees. Similar to what I did yesterday, I head south on 395 and explore the eastern side of the Sierras. Ah, uh, the key. Stay alert, could be an ambush. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> They're moving. I didn't even have to wait that long yesterday. A little while. Not this time. Sweet. I do not think I am blessed by the gods. I mean, you know, hey, I ride the same roads everybody else does. I should start tracking these instead of curiosity because I'm that kind of a nerd. The luck factor. They stop both ways. I mean, it's not like they're favoring anybody. And now we're heading out to Eden. Yay, brother. Bonus points if you know that reference. On the Rock Creek Road. Going into a canyon. The familiar thing that we've been doing this ride. Gonna look right, get some colors. There are a lot of rocks there. Maybe that's why they call this Rock Creek. Maybe. Could be something else. Man, that's a big chunk of rock there. Out here on Rock Creek. So, uh, we're headed down the road to Lake Sabrina. While I was at lunch, I noticed I got a voicemail while I was on the road. The hotel wants me out of my room ASAP. The confusion on my booking. I, I extended my stay. I booked a room in their secondary building. And I asked them, I said, hey, this is kind of a pain to move. And I got to check out at 11 and then back in at 3. Can we find some way to give me the same room or a place to hold my gear. And when I checked in on Wednesday, there was no one at the desk and there was just a bunch of envelopes on a whiteboard with your key and your name and the paperwork. And it said, hey, I'm in room three. And they had a breakdown of the billing for all three nights. And it didn't say anything about this room 38 they want me to move to, which I'm fine with, but they didn't respond to my commentary when I booked it online and uh, yeah, I hadn't seen anybody at the desk at the checkout desk for two days move out tonight uh, is going to be extremely hasty wow definitely some color here it's how, how odd that some of these trees haven't even really barely started to turn
Oh, this is nice. The road got very narrow about a quarter mile ago. This is pretty much the end of the road almost. GPS from routed me down this quote paved road and uh, I decided to bail on that. I had to go over a little bit of dirt, go up onto a road, and it turns out that you know I was like two blocks worth of distance from this road. And so, you know, as I was getting my way back to like 395 to go back to Bridgeport, I saw that it was this road and I'm like, oh, that's where it was directing me. Okay. So I altered my path to continue on my original destination here in Pine Creek Canyon. Wow, what a valley or canyon. Pipe cones in the middle of the road. And this is the end of the road. I was expecting something a little different up here. Oh, looks like we're turning around. Nothing to see here. Move along. This road is much better paved than Valdemort Canyon Road or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, I wish I had the canvas on for that. And then oddly enough, there was a bunch of houses in and streets that were paved like right next to this ridiculous road. We yeah. love this little winding section. Off to the right here at an angle about like this is that one road that I bailed on. Yep, that's it. The Velda work. Velda something. Velda no thank you. I actually got it. I am a bit rushed. Major deer crossing. Not just deer crossing. Now I've never seen a sign that said that. Major deer crossing. And all my years of riding, which is probably like about a 350,000, I have never seen major deer crossing. I've seen deer crossing. Lots of them. You know, in deer hunting area. Not major. Fortunately, no deer came bounding across the road. Trying to bug my day. Stuff ahead here on the left. Hello, Nelly Deli. Actually, I think it's called something else like Tioga Gas Mart, but the restaurant inside is called the Whoa Nelly Deli. Got a picture of a horse. Whoa Nelly. But you know, they had a roll of electrical tape, which I still have. Yeah. Until so the kitchen's going full steam there. There was a cop on the far side of town yesterday waiting to bust people. Couple of cops talking to each other there. So we're about eight miles south of Bridgeport. Hopefully we can resolve this uh, hotel calamity. I think I'm just gonna go right here. By the building. Okay, well now for the confrontation. Hopefully 
not a confrontation, but uh, to deal with the problems. So I'm packing up my stuff and moving to another hotel because the hotel not only didn't communicate that I wasn't going to be staying in my original room, they booked the room, the other room that I booked for the third night. They screwed up twice. But they did somehow manage to find a hotel in town to rent me a room, and I'm going there now. I am at the Ruby Inn. They checked me in. They even got me a ground floor room, which it sounded like may have been a problem. Very nice lady at the desk. Totally took care of me. It's a motel, so I am literally parked outside the door. In a hotel room, you usually get a little packet of coffee in the cheap little coffee maker. It's like this little flat pod. And it makes you know, a passable coffee and gets you going in the morning. This is whole bean. The little coffee maker, which looks pretty cheap, it has a built-in grinder. But, yeah. Nice. Ruby in? At least four stars. We'll see. I haven't left yet. But so far... They're hitting it out of the park. Bridgeport Inn, they, they were nice about screwing me over and about selling the room that I booked. I'm not going too crazy because I'm going to get a lot more bugs on it today. Well, it's time to finish packing up the cases, load them up on the bike, and head out over Sonora Pass. into the wild blue yonder. 17 miles to Sonora Junction, according to that sign right there. At which point we'll turn left and take 108 up to Sonora Pass, which I am looking forward to. Classic shot here at the cows. The uh, snow-capped mountain behind them. Man, I don't know how you suckers stay out there overnight in the 20s. I think that beef would get frozen. I enjoyed the coffee in the uh, hotel room this morning, and I did not have breakfast. The only restaurant in town that really serves breakfast is uh, Bridgeport Inn, and well, they're on my shit list. Here's the U.S. Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center. Uh, actually, the cars and last time, I know they like to come up here for winter treating. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of tents set up. All right, guys, kick some ass. Keep our country safe. Thank you for your service. For walking. Oh, they're probably Marines oh, for a run. Those guys were fit. Yeah, it's not unusual to see cyclists or even uh, skateboarders, but uh, pretty rare I'd see someone out there for a run. You're definitely getting into the twisties now bit of gravel there. Uh, it's like a uh, military there. Oh yeah, whole bunch of them there. Right on guys. I have never seen that much military presence on my trips on Sonora Pass before. So this is kind of cool. Wow. So in the last 12 months, this is the third time I've ridden this pass. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Yuck. Wake it up a little bit here. Got a fun right for this turn. 15 miles an hour. Oh, I know where we're at. Okay. 
Okay, I probably didn't need first gear. I got some more military here. Wow, they're everywhere. Awesome. God help anybody trying to invade Snor Pass today. I'm just recreating. I am not a threat. There's lots of good ascents and descents all over this path. Five stars would ride again. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Yep, 9,600 feet. Sonora Pass. turn people hanging out there taking pretty photos and I'd have noticed that if I was paying attention to my GPS but I was talking to you hope you're enjoying the video so far plenty of good stuff left more great writing after a word from our sponsors this video is sponsored by Ride On. now back to your writing Nancy Kelsey was the first female pioneer to cross the Sonora Pass, which she did in 1841 at the age of 18 while still with child. This was one hardy woman. This plaque commemorates her achievements. The Pillars of Hercules. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Stopped off at this nice little spot here off of Sonora Pass. This is west of the summit. There's a river that kind of cut a notch.
road work next 95 miles. Wow. <laughs> I have never seen a road work sign for that many miles. Now remember, there is construction for 95 miles, despite appearances. There's construction. Well, I think you can pretty much say we're out of the mountains now. Yep, Night's Ferry Creamery. Where all the people are hanging out getting their ice cream. The river's edge. We are in Tracy. I love this place. Oh, I just left Ophelia's in Tracy. Ah, dang, those are good tacos. They seem to get better every time I go there. Uh -uh, that hit the spot. Wow, this pavement's like every donk. Ooh, he's blocking the sun. Thank you. <laughs> Unexpected benefit. Heading home at this hour, you're like right into the sun. It's really hard to see. I've had worse glare. A couple of cows all by themselves there. Chawing on the dry grass. Ah, ah they're the social outcasts. Wow. Got the sun right in your eyes, but it's gonna drop right here. Ah. Ah, I can see! Well folks, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. It's been a heck of a ride with four days through the Eastern Sierras, seeing fall colors and lots of lakes, and it was really awesome. If you liked this video and you want to see more, subscribe become part of the right on family and click the notification bell if you want to make sure you don't miss a new video so that's all for now and wherever your journeys may lead you ride on